Next, I'd like to welcome to the stage Rodolfo Novak, also known as at NVK. He is the creator of the Open Dime and uh, also the founder of CoinKite and also a Blockstream spy. Hello. Oh, that's loud. Um, so, um, my name is Rodolfo, and I uh, want to talk about using Bitcoin without uh, internet locally, right? Um, a very common uh, thing that Bitcoin haters like to say is that you can just turn off the internet in minutes and, uh, you know, <laughs> and everything is over, right? It, it doesn't work like that. If you uh, want to turn the internet off in a, a major country, um, you take probably a few hours. Uh, you know, your power grid is dependent on it. Everything is dependent on it. Um, and if you, even if you try block ports and things, you know, there's ways around that. You kill babies. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so, but what do you do if you don't live in a, in a developed country or in a place where the internet could be turned off, right? Um, you, you can get the data out through mesh nets and all kinds of ways. And uh, one of my favorite methods is using amateur radio. And amateur radio, um, it's very powerful because if you're using lower bands, um, you can actually transmit across the planet <laughs> with very little uh, power. And uh, so let's say, you know, you, you are in North Korea <laughs> and uh, you don't have, <laughs> you don't have uh, uh, internet there. But in South Korea, everybody's connected, right? So what you can do is you can transfer the data uh, via uh, amateur radio um, from your locality to somebody who could relay the transaction for you. So essentially, you get your hardware wallet or your computer wallet, uh, and you're following the blocks from, from the satellite feed. Uh, but the satellite feed doesn't give you a way back out unless you have a very expensive device or um, you have another means of getting that out. So you sign your transaction and you have a raw transaction or you have a partially signed transaction and uh, you need to get that data out. So you can use uh, uh, this specific radios. I wish I had put some pictures here. But, um, and uh, y y these are very low bandwidth, but they go very far. Uh, for example, uh, we sent uh, Bitcoin from, uh, well, we sent a transaction to be rebroadcasted from Toronto to Michigan. Uh, and another one I did was uh, with Elaine. Uh, we did it from Toronto to uh, San Francisco. And uh, it's amazing because it just takes like a few minutes at, with nothing in between you and that person. And you can send the data like that. Um, it requires, you know, a license, an amateur radio license. But, you know, I bet somebody sitting in a country where, you know, literally the sky is falling uh, is not going to be very concerned about uh, what the, uh, an FCC or some agency would think about that. Uh, but we were licensed amateur radios doing, uh, amateur operators doing this. We were allowed to do this. Um, so the, the demo I'm going to show um, is essentially you get the transaction signed. You use a, a laptop with a radio, and you transmit that to the other party, and the other party is going to demodulate that. And then uh, you will receive and able to sort of rebroadcast that for you. Uh, and there you go. So now we'll be creating the PSBT file from Electrum. We have some testnet here. Let me send the Bitcoins back to the testnet faucet we got, where we got it from. So we'll just press preview, very easy, and then save as PSBT. We're gonna save it to the micro SD card. There you go, it is saved. Just close this window. 
And now I'm going to go to code card and I'm going to sign this. Let's just eject the SD card. Let's put it in. Okay. So I'm going to put very secure pin here. Yes, I recognize those words. So second part of the pin. This is being done completely offline. See, code card is only connected to a battery pack. Okay, so now we're going to sign. See, ready to sign, validating. That's the transaction, that's the amount, and that's the address I want to send it to. Yes, that is correct. I press OK to send. It's signing. Amazing. So now we have a signed Bitcoin transaction in the SD card. So I just have to take that out. We can take this out of here and we can store this back where it needs to be. VA3 TOX South or VA3 TOX North. Do you copy? VA3 TOX North. Um, I guess uh, we chatted before. Uh, could you relay a Bitcoin transaction for me uh, on the network? Certainly, I have internet access, no problem. Okay, just uh, give me a second. I'm going to change the digital mode and uh, I'm going to send the file to you. Let's check with one other party. Uh, VA3 TOX for VA3 TOX North. Uh, did you get it? Yep, I got it and I broadcast it. The transaction hash is 4FT6BBF6684 and so on. Talk later, VA3 TOX North. All right, so um, the sound is a little much there because we were actually coordinating via radio, right? So the idea was I contacted this person and I asked them if he could retransmit this transaction for me over the internet because he has internet and I don't, right? But I had a satellite feed to check the blocks coming in. So I used my computer connected to my radio to then send him the transaction using this PSK1000R. Uh, it's about, uh, I think, 100 kilobytes per three seconds. So it's very low data rate, but it's enough to do this. And uh, then, you know, we coordinated. I sent the file to him. He broadcasted this file for me using a, a blockchain explorer, right, the, the Blockstream one. And, uh, and I was able to get that confirmation using my satellite feed. So essentially, I could be sitting in the middle of nowhere with no internet. If I have a um, satellite antenna and I have my ham radio, I'm able to do Bitcoin uh, completely off the grid. Um, and uh, now, I was, we were trying to figure out how can we incentivize people to run relays? So you could have like a person unlicensed because to receive in most countries you don't need a license. Um, so they could just have an antenna in the roof. It, normally a random wire antenna is literally just a wire uh, connected to a SDR, like a cheap SDR like the one for the satellite uh, on a Raspberry Pi or something that's running the software. And what we could do is we can create a partially signed transaction where we build one output goes to the person I'm actually trying to pay, um, and then the second output goes to a public private key. So anybody who is running this relay has access to this private key. And 
the second output of the transaction would go to the address corresponding to that private key. And any person who receives that first and broadcasts it first is able to claim that output to themselves. So there is no coordination needed for you to, uh, to, to receive a, a cut of that transaction. It's, uh, it, it really uh, helps a lot of things. <laughs> so, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, almost? And then. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.